everyone's paying like Facebook, right, and Google ads, and producing all of this content and everything. Like they're going to so much effort and pain to get customers when everyone has the customers. Yeah, and not right. everyone. It's not as competitive as I think everyone thinks. Like someone's journey and info, they buy from pretty much like everyone. Not everyone, but they're gonna. They don't just buy from one person, and then it's their whole life's solved. You know what right. I mean? And there's no need to try to like say this is all you need or. And what? No. And I definitely have been guilty of like thinking it, it was like that. Right. I don't know why. Um, but then if you look at music, it's very collaborative. There's yep. a lot of mixing involved. And then if you look at, um, I then I noticed like Joe Rogan and his podcast, and it was like the most popular podcast ever. And yet he is never just talking about himself. He's actually right. interviewing other people. Right. And he's encouraging them to start a podcast, a lot of them. Right. And a lot of them do, and it doesn't take away from his. It actually just makes his more powerful in a way, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so I started to think, well, why doesn't the info industry run like this? Why do you think it doesn't? I mean, it's painful. What is? Opening up your doors and saying that you don't have a monopoly on information. Like I, I was af like genuinely afraid, scared to death of like letting people in, sort of speak on like my craft. Mm. It's like my whole identity. It's my secrets. It's the way that I monetize. And like, if I teach you how to do it, then like I'm out of a job. And then you can kind of make the mental gymnastics and go, well, I'll charge you a lot for it. So then I'll justify it. That's fine. Right. But like, if you genuinely do that, those people have their own engine behind them. And if they apply your skill set, they're going to have so much more success. You know what I mean? Instead of just you doing the work and doing this. So like the best way to grow your info product business or like in this info product space is to collaborate. You don't have a monopoly on this information. If everybody has multiple programs and everybody's already picking and choosing from them, for God's sakes, like let's take off the walls and like try to help each other out. Mm. You know, like that's what we found with mastering is we license, we license stuff. Mm. You know, it's let's, you've got your own coaching business. That's fine. That's cool. But like, let's, let's bring everybody together. Mm. I just think a lot of ego gets in the way probably or a lot of fear. Like I, I would genuinely love if somebody's got sales dialed in like Cole or somebody or Brian with ads or whatever. Like I, I wish the best for all those guys for sure. Um, but like in a certain sense, we're all on the same team mm. and we need to learn how to collaborate. And I think we have to be creative with this. I don't think that you have to just stick in like, I sell a course, I sell a course, I sell a course. That's going to get old. Mm. Yeah, well, I've had I've gone through this like this year. I've been I didn't really do any collaborations, right? And right. then I started doing a lot of them, and so far it's been like really good. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, but like, why do you? Why were you so skittish about it? I have my reasons, but well, one was that paid ads was our primary <clears throat> traffic source, right? So customers came from ads. That was the mentality, right? Right. And so for one, I just thought, well, what's the point? I I could just pay for it and I don't have to like build a relationship or do any of that stuff, right? <laughs> um, how, how dare you would ever want to build a relationship with somebody? <laughs> well, I'm like introverted. And <laughs> right. so it seemed easier to me to just look at all the numbers and everything and buy it. Um, but then, you know, with time... Ads were just so, such a pain in the ass. And then I started seeing that organic was a way better option. Right. And then, then I changed my mindset at some point. I just said no more ads. Like it was the end of last year. Right. And I just, we just turned off our ads and we we're like, it's kind of like cutting your rope if you're rock climbing. Yeah. Right? It's like, well, let's just see. And I figured that it would kind of be like cutting your rope. You would try harder not to fall. 
Right. If you knew you didn't have a row. So when we took the ads away, we had to think how are we going to get the traffic? And so we thought of like YouTube, email, and then partnerships. Right. And we had the time to invest in them because we didn't, we, we weren't running ads. And then it just really forced me to think about like, well, what is my place in this ecosystem? Right. And I think that's what you've got to do first. You've got to be like, this is the thing that I'm going to do. And then I'm obviously not going to be as good as like right. Cole with sales or right. Brian at YouTube ads. So let's just collaborate there because I can't learn that. And if I did, it would be stupid because I would sacrifice something else. Yep. But I think that's... So to, kind of, to answer your question, I think... People haven't identified their true zone, yes. first of all. Yes. And then there's just this dependence on on advertising. Yes. So really the platforms are sucking out all of this money when it could just be paid out to the Amongst other yourself. creators. Yeah, yeah, right. 